M0 FXP Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So what we're going to do is quickly run through the instructions to update the firmware on your ICOM 7100 and then in a separate video we'll actually do it. So, if we look at the firmware update instructions that you can download from the link I will provide, the, the first thing I would say is back up your radio using the SD card. So go into settings, scroll to SD card, uh, and then um, click save setting so you've got your backup the next thing is to download the USB driver so a link in the description download your USB driver and when the radio is connected you know you it's correct because when you click device manager here so right click here and then device manager double click ports you will come up with uh, silicon labs 13 and 14 on mine, but different numbers on yours. So you've got your driver downloaded, you've, back, you've made a backup. So now it's the firmware instructions. So if we scroll down here, like so, step one, USB driver. Step two, backing up. Step three is downloading the actual firmware update file. So let's find that. Might be a link in here if, we, if we're lucky. No, can't find a link, so let's go and get that. Okay, so here's the firmware. The latest one is release 5, and you will find that if you go into your radio and select set, then scroll down to others, then information, you'll, and then version, you will see what version you're running. The important one to look at is the CPU version, which with the after this latest update will be 1.11 and the DSP version will be 1.03 that's the important bit so let's download that and we'll have a look at what we've got in this file in a sec and we're going to double well, let's send it somewhere so we know where to find it so we extract it to and I'm just going to send it to for now my HRI 200 file so I know where it is. Okay, so back to the instructions. Now you do have to put this radio into update mode by holding down, let's have a look. Way past there, here it is. The auto tune button, the XFC button and the DR button, which are all on the right hand side Hold all three down and then turn the radio on and it's in now in update mode and then you'll be able to run this XE. So let's just find that file a minute. I just downloaded. Just go to downloads for now. Double click. And let's double click here. And that this is the update sort of window that you get, so I'll agree to that. Caution when updating, never connect an external device. Yeah, lots of advice. Right, it's already trying to connect to my device because I, I have because uh, it wants to see it in update mode. So I'm going to do that in a separate video uh, to show you how um, you know how easy it is. Uh, this is just in it to show you the instructions and the instructions are available. Bye for now. Seven three.